What's up, everyone? Welcome back! Alright, so I'm back for the very first time ever playing John Madden Football 1993, which is, whew, quite a long time ago. So, yeah, a bit of an older game here, but like I said, you know, uh, once I started showing off these brand new games, you know, every week I also want to do, you know, on Fridays... Uh, well, the days don't really matter for you guys, again, because I pre-record all my videos, so it doesn't really matter what day this gets uploaded. But basically, for me personally, I record uh, on Fridays, I do Rock Band, and then I do a sports game. I'm going to be doing a sports game every week until I get to the year uh, 2022. 2022. So, like I said, I kicked things off with John Madden Football 1992. And I'm going all the way to the year 2022 with these sports games. There may be a few sports games in there as well that don't have years, you know, attached to them, per se. Um, but either way, it will still be fucking awesome. Like I said, I'm going to go through all the years, you know. There's going to be a sports game for every year. And then, again, some also some sports games in there that aren't necessarily numbered with a particular year. But I threw them in there, you know, just because. But yeah, we're, we're going through 30 years worth of gaming, of uh, sports game history, and uh, we're getting that going again this week with Madden Football 93. Last uh, last week it was Madden Football 92, and now we're doing Madden Football 93. Yeah, I'm playing this game actually for the first time. Uh, John Madden Football 92 was actually one of the very first video games I ever played, but this game I've never played before, playing it for the first time. You can definitely see the similarities between this one and uh, Madden 92, so yeah, it's kind of neat, but yeah, I figured this would be a good one to go with, and yeah, so we're going to have some fun here. We're jumping into 1993 now. Going from 1992 to 1993, so we're going to have ourselves some fun here. I figure the best way to kick things off is with, of course, the greatest football rivalry of all time, Chicago and Green Bay. So, yeah, it should be fucking awesome. Definitely looking forward to it. should be a motherfucking blast. So, yeah, and again, as usual, for those of you who don't know, I pretty much just, you know, let the AIs duke it out. So I'm not actually playing the game myself. I'm just going to be basically commentating the game. But should be fun. So, yeah, either way, let's get this motherfucking party started. Chicago versus Green Bay. Who's going to win? Let me know down in the comments section. Uh, it looks like Chicago's got a lot of advantages over Green Bay. But Green Bay does have the home field advantage. So we'll see. You never know. Never know. Any team can beat any other team on any given day. Oh, that's cool. They're doing, like, the wave or something. Oh, that's kind of a neat effect. They didn't have that in Madden Football 92. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm getting the game started here. Chicago and Green Bay, let's go. Also, let me let me uh, know what you guys think of this new, like, f uh, recording format for me down in the comments section, you know with how I've been structuring my recording sessions and shit. But I like how it's going so far, you know, working on my main playthrough project on Monday, showing off a brand new game on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, you know, doing one brand new game each of those days, and then on Friday, you know, doing Rock Band and then uh, a sports game. I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, system for recording videos. I like the particular structure that I'm using to record videos. I like it. I think it works well. So, yeah, I like it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I think I think it's a good system for, uh, you know, showing off these brand new games for you guys while still getting some other shit done that I want to get done, you know, like Rock Band. But, yeah, I like it. I think it's going to be fun for the next several weeks here on Multi-Step. Next probably couple of months, honestly. So, Oh, an interception! Wow, early in the game! That's good for Chicago. Sure as hell got the job done on uh, fucking defense there. Let's see what they can do on offense. But yeah, either way, you know, I'm always looking for feedback, you know, so let me know what you guys think of this new uh, recording structure down in the comment section. But I think it's going to work out very well. I think once I'm done with, like, all the sports games and um, when I'm done with, um, you know, Rock Band and shit like that, 
I think I'm just going to, instead of, you know, doing some of that shit on Friday, I'm just going to show off four brand new games a week instead of three. So, yeah, but, I, you know, I want to get Rock Band done and I want to, you know, show off some of these sports games, you know, brand new sports games that I've got for you guys. You know, and kind of, I thought it'd be interesting again every week to, you know, go through different sports games and go from 1992 all the way to 2022, you know, so that way you guys see how, you know, um, sports games have evolved throughout the years. I think it'll be fun. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, things are actually not going so well for the Bears here. They've lost a lot of yards. They might even be out of field goal range now depending on how good their kicker is. Yeah, they better hope they can at least gain a few yards here, at least kick a field goal. Packers have been actually getting the job done on defense here. Oh, except for there. Holy shit. Came a lot of room to run, but still not going to be enough. Yeah, this early in the game, Chicago's probably just going to go for the field goal. It would be stupid not to go for the field goal at this point. Yep, got it. Well done. Well done indeed. All right, so that's put Chicago up three zip after the interception by the Packers. That's going to be a touchback. All right, so Green Bay starting off at the 20 yard line. First down. So we'll see if Green Bay can at least avoid getting another interception. Halfback throws the ball. He gets it. Wow. That was a good play. Holy shit. 22 yard fucking gain. That was nice. Green Bay with a little fucking razzle-dazzle going on there. Very nice. If that guy had been faster, he would have ran, ran that shit right into the fucking end zone. Yeah, how about that? The halfback passes for a fucking 22-yard pass. That was pretty fucking good. Yeah, that was just not a great pass. All right, not bad. A four-yard gain. They're still going to need a bit more than that, though. So we'll see if they can make it happen with the passing game here. <coughs> Looks like Chicago is going to be blitzing. So if they can actually get a pass off here, they might have a shot. If they can burn one of the one of the DBs, going to have less guys in coverage. Yeah, sure as hell. Well done, Green Bay. The crowd is loving it here at Lambeau Field. In this snow-filled game. No gain. Well, at least they didn't lose any yards. Although it is now 11 to go, so maybe they did lose a little bit. All right, so we're going to have some play action. Looks like Chicago's not going with a blitz this time, so this might not work out well for Green Bay, but we'll see. We will certainly see. Wow. Yeah, that did go well. Nice. That was a perfect pass. First down. 
Yeah, when Green Bay's not throwing interceptions, their passing game's actually going pretty well. Again, they just have to not throw any fucking interceptions. It was actually a pretty decent run. Six yard gain. Not bad. Nothing else, Green Bay. Again, assuming that they don't throw another interception or get a fumble or do something stupid here. They should at least be able to tie things up here. So that's good. At least for them anyway, I suppose. Blocked that shit. There's like maybe two receivers and like five defensive guys there. Oh, this could be a disastrous play. An end around. Unless your offensive line holds out really fucking well. Plays like this can be fucking disastrous. Fans not too happy about that. That was a dumb fucking ass play right there. Absolutely dumb fucking ass play. They should have just passed it. But either way, they still have the opportunity to tie things up here. Uh. So we'll see if their field goal kicker and field goal unit can get the job done. Need to hold their blocks and kicker needs to do his job. We'll see if they make it happen. Yep, sure as hell. Well done. So that ties things up. We have ourselves a close game here between Chicago and Green Bay. Tied 3-3. Three to three. All right, not a bad little return there. So Chicago takes over at their own 23. Yeah, good game so far. And so they got it. All right. That's a first down for them. Fans not too happy about it, but a good little run there gets them the first down. Very nice. Red. Hot. Yeah. That one tomorrow. Took his ass the fuck down. Running didn't work so well for him there. Now it's second down, 13 to go. See if Chicago can get the, get the job done through the air here. Almost to the end of the first quarter. <coughs> we'll see what the fuck happens here. And, wow, he got it. Nice. Yeah, caught the defense snapping on that one. After this next play, it'll probably just about take us to the end of the first. Maybe one more play after this, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, one yard gain. That's about the best thing that could have happened there. There was defenders everywhere. All right, we'll see if they get this play off. <laughs> yeah, that had fucking doomed written all over it. That was a terrible ass play. So it looks like we are going to have one more play here in this quarter. So that will stop the clock. Set. Red. 28. 
And he catches it. All right, well, guys, that'll do it for that one. Peace out.